down, man. It's drafted, and I got 10 day. And I can prove G in 10 days. They can keep me. You did well in the workout in the scrimmage. I mean, when it comes down to crunch time, there's no one. We'll see if he can swim with the big fish. If he does, he might have a shot to be signed for the rest of the year. Might even find himself a spot in the rotation. If not, son, back on the streets. You ready? I'm ready, willing, and able, sir. You'll see. Scared. Good. Get out of here. You too. I'm just so strong. He's in my career 2K14 now on the bottom, but it's after point 2K15. I kind of like one player on 2K15. though. Oh yeah, I could change. I could change that. I can change that later on. In I don't know, though, because it is made me randomly Kevin Hood. Don't give me a chance to pick my name. Two K Nav play the grades. One sixty. 564 Okay Park. Don't go to my park, I suck. Welcome, Welcome to, to my park. park, the next revolution in pickup basketball. In NBA 2K15, you'll join other my players in one of three all new parks with the opportunity to battle it out for hoops supremacy. Known the world over as a basketball hotbed, the Tri Cities area develops some of the top street players in the world. At the center of these three distinct regions are parks each one a symbol of its inhabitants and their unique brand of basketball. These differing identities create a deep sense of pride for each city, and this has led to some fierce rivalries to lay claim as the best ballers around. The once struggling old town has weathered a recent recession to become a thriving metropolitan destination. The Flyers are notorious for the up-tempo flashy play. They believe that looking good is just
Swagger. Good. What has happened? Let me tell you guys the whole story. Um, the NBA draft, I didn't get drafted at all. So some teams gave me a 10 day. So you're draft. the rookie that's gonna shock the world, huh? Sure as heck gonna try. Good. I'm glad you're here. Just remember, it's all out there for you. Work hard, listen, watch how we do, and you got a chance to be something special. Now let's see what you got. Yeah. Thanks. I'm happy to be here, man. I'm pumped. Let's do it. Yeah, 16 and 92. But those six guys don't win. I don't got that ball up. But we're the one that, we probably were the one that's gonna shoot by the ball. Fuck. Oh, I know you guys, sorry, you guys missed the scrimmage. We won. Why was we the three pointer? Not by me, but I got the assist though, so. And now, introducing your Phoenix Suns. At the small forward position, at six foot six inches. Number 17, PJ Tucker. <coughs> the big man, 6 feet 10 inches. Everyone is in their seat here at the U.S. Airways Center as the Suns look to grab a win here in downtown Phoenix. For the Washington Wizards, they come in off a good outing against the Lakers. And here we get a glimpse coming off the bench of the first official John, I'm NBA John appearance Wall. Wall. Well, Clark, here's he a guy good. with quite the story. Getting it's outside. Picked on draft Dude. Day. Couldn't Dude. find Dude. a team Dude. until this it's point inside. in the season. Dude. Well, Kevin, you know because of that, he's going to be playing motivated. Yes, Often events really like that will give a player an added edge. And, and we I don't think there's five. anybody in the building more motivated than he is. Outside wall, Nene is setting the pick for Wall. Kicks it to Nene. Back to Wall. Down to five on the shot clock. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Man, a pleasure to watch him work at that end of the floor. Suns trail by seven. John Wall at 6'4", with a 39-inch vertical leap and long arms to boot. Is an elite physical specimen when it comes to the point guard position. And Wall, a blur, guys, in the open court. Perhaps, Steve, perhaps the fastest player in the league end to end. He is devastating in transition. Yeah, he's so. And there you have it, folks. The very first NBA bucket from Hood. Maybe not anything spectacular there, but he's not going to complain. You're, yeah, I would hope he wouldn't complain. He's now officially in the NBA scorebook, and that. Really, when you think about it. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot. Uh, nice pull up from the right elbow. Defender 
decide to sag off or go under the screen and if they play up on him he can blow right by him so because of his finishing ability that's a tough cover. Doris Burke had a chance to catch up with that coach Randy Whitley. Every time the ball gets in the post if they don't collapse in their post threats he knows they're in for a long game. Guys. And thank you for that Doris and that one's good. And Wall has some good big men to work with in that pick and roll. Nene, very mobile. Steve, a great finish. Yeah, and of course, Marcin Gortat spent a couple of years running the pick and roll with Steve Nash in Phoenix. So, you know, he's had some pointers for Wall, too. All in all, you love to see the chemistry that has developed between all those players. I'll give you that pick. I'll give you open all this. Right, dishes to Morris. Right, Morris. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. And Tucker kicks tonight. Goes back up, and that one's good. I don't have any rookie, but I'm not always... performance so far on the boards for this bus. Boy, I like the way they've done a great job carving out space under the basket when the shots have gone up. Now here's Wall. He's guarded by Hood. Seraphin inside, right on him. Shot by Seraphin, no good. Here's Hood. Pass to Tucker. Hide on the wing. Here's Hood. Covered by Wall. Here's Hood. Now the dish to Tucker. Trains the three-pointer. Tucker's got his first three oh, points yeah. of the game. Well, no question, Clark. They're riding a huge wave of momentum. Oh, um, guys. So my internet is going down, so I need to fix that. This is going to be part one. I'm going to be broadcasting part two in a little bit. Like, right now. Um, Don't get mad. But, uh, oh, never mind. Okay. Sure, sure. Well, they took their bumps and lumps earlier, but dusted themselves off, and now they're fighting back. Wall passes to Nene. Nene, right side. And Wall. Here we go now. And that is good. John Wall's got five points so far. There's 25 seconds left in the first quarter. They set the pick. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first quarter. There's a screen by Gorta. Knocked away. And so it looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. Eight seconds left to play in the first quarter. Four seconds left. Can't get it to go. Even though he missed it, he couldn't pass up that chance. Get it. Phoenix and then for Washington Pierce is checked in for Gortat Beal comes in for Rasul Butler and John Wall subbed in for Sessions that well, wasn't too long ago that the Suns were selling first round picks now the complete opposite this team stacking up draft picks as they look to go young and rebuild this club so on the floor for Washington Bradley Beal and Otto Porter Jr. are the wingmen Chris Humphreys is out there with Pierce and it's Wall in the point guard position Looked like there was a little confusion there as to who was supposed to be guarding it. Wizards leading by five. And the push for new talent in Phoenix really seen from top to bottom. New GM, first-time head coach, and yeah. Jeff Hornacek. Yeah, and they did an outstanding job. They're pushing to create a very positive culture. They're really giving everybody an opportunity to show what they can do. Thus far, the results are very impressive. Here's Morris, and it's Phoenix scoring again. Washington's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Porter in the corner. From 15 feet away, no good off the front eye. A poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. Wall against right. Wall, that's good. Wall's got seven points here in this quarter. Boy, nice work inside. Tough to get that shot over a big defender like that. 
Oh, that takes skill and creativity, Steve, uh, particularly on the release to make sure he doesn't get a hand on it. Hood can't get it to go. That's a bad shot. He's not a good three-point shooter anyway, and that was just too deep. I'm with you on that, Steve. Which one of us should break it to him? You know, they've changed their game here in the second. Getting a little bit more physical, playing with some toughness now. And, you know, this lead is going to get better than that. Not tonight, I'm not. Kevin Serafin is checked in for the Wizards. I like his aggressiveness here. In the Close game as we wrap up the second That's quarter. Okay, guys, let's focus and get down to business. Now, here's a few things I took away from the first half. I like how many points we were able to generate from the paint in the half. Our offense should have a nice balance to it going forward because their D has no choice but to put some more bodies in the middle and create some space <coughs> for us on the perimeter. I'll give you a compliment, though. The ball move. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. <sighs> Let's go. You're in. Dang, about time. Me? 15 seconds left in the third quarter of the Look game. Look at the score. We've got Danny Granger. E.J. Tucker is out there with Markeith Morris. Then there's Bledsoe. And it's Green in at the shooting guard position. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Three-pointer. Granger misses there. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Wizards out front, running away with it. Okay, Fourth quarter gets this underway. This game's over. And let's quickly have a look at the State Farm assist of the game, which came, Steve, from a kind of an unlikely source here. Yeah, it's the big fella here doing his best impression of a point guard, ser <laughs> serving up a, a brilliant feed here. That's gorgeous. So the Wizards five right now. Bradley Beal and Otto Porter Jr. are the wingmen. Blair is out there with Humphreys, and it's Temple in at the one. Guys, we see teams taking a more data-driven approach. Analytics now, a big part of things. You see that in the front office, and, and Steve, that brings in some new faces. Yeah, in fact, in the last two years, over a third of the NBA teams have hired new decision makers. So only a couple played in the league, the majority being you know, more of the uh, analytical type. So there's definitely been a sea change in terms of NBA leadership. Granger for the three. Washington with the rebound. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. There's a glaring discrepancy between these teams in that area of the game. Yeah, that's what's paved the way for them to build this big lead, no question. A very hot shooting second half has seen them bring that field goal percentage way up. Yeah, they're cruising now, really looking to add to this lead, and this has been a clinic, Clark. Here's Hood. The rebound by Blair. You know, his finishing ability leaves a lot to be desired, guys. He needs to take it to the basket stronger. And stolen by Hood. The drive by Green kicks it out to Granger. Here. Warren with the ball. I'm giving you the pick. There's the pass to Hood. But you pass it out to me. Just fine uh, on the clock. Phoenix needs to get off the shot. Shooting. Here's Warren. And he overshot that one, missing. He's one guy the defense is not afraid to leave open from that range, and for obvious reasons. That's good. And it's six points for Otto Porter Jr. And they got exactly what they wanted right there. Really high percentage look. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. And he gets it to go. You know, an interesting study came out recently that argued that steals are really undervalued, not just because they create high percentage scoring opportunities at the other end, but also there just aren't that many players who really excel in that area. Solid work right there, and again, the field goal percentages. Look at the discrepancy between these two teams in the second half. Well, you're right. We've got one team moving crisply to get good shots, and the other team just a bit stagnant. Here's Hood. Over in the corner, Green. Unloads from 13. And the jumper is on the mark. You talk about steals, one of the harder stats to replace. Some players just have the knack. 
Yeah, you know, when you replace a guy who can take the ball away from opponents, a great stealer, I mean, it's hard to replace that in your lineup. Steals require a special knack. Quickness, anticipation. You know, guys that do a good job of ball hawking can really get into an opposing player's head, too. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Wizards. They've knocked down plenty of mid-range jumpers in this one. That's been big for them. And they're also really getting out in transition and scoring some hoops in the fast break tonight. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Morris is checked in for Markeith Morris. And it's Thornton in for Gerald Green. Here's Hood. He's covered by Sessions. And the wide open shot from Warren drills the three-pointer. <coughs> Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Now here's Sessions. Into Blair. Pass to Sessions. Outside Butler. Shot clock at six. Danny Granger pulls it in. Phoenix has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Granger is screen on Beal. On the wing, Thornton. Passes to Hood from past the arc. Rebound by Butler. Butler's got three rebounds now in this one. He kicks to Sessions. League returned to a 2-2-1-1-1 finals format. It was a unanimous decision at the time, and I haven't sensed any regrets. The feeling was and continues to be that the top seed deserves to have game five at home. The Suns have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. And we head to the final buzzer in a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. This will go in the books as a really gaudy win for Washington. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, Stephen Clark. Uh, an all-around dominant performance. Clark, and you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. I certainly did, and they just cracked it open and made it an in seat. No contest. Yeah. So looking at the season total, this will be their 17th win. Well, they're going to win again. Same result uh, as the previous matchup between these two clubs. And it's the last time they meet this year, so that'll make it a sweep of the season series. You look at the stats and you'll see just how dominant a game this was for John Wall. He just looked like an orchestrator out there, keeping his teammates involved, running to the open spots. I mean, he, he would constantly find them more often than not. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That's on Sessions. Easy call there. No question about that one. You can hear the impact from where I am. Markeith Morris is checked in for Marcus Morris. Then for the Wizards, Humphreys comes in for Dewan Blair. And Porter subbed in for Beal. And the second free throw, good. Well, the Morris twins, Markeith and Marcus, drafted back-to-back -back with the last two picks of the lottery back in 2011 out of the University of Kansas. Steve, 13th and 14th overall. Well, like a lot of twins, Kevin, they are extremely close. They live together. They even have the same tattoos. They were both thrilled when they were reunited with the Suns, and it showed on the court. They both played very well. Well, guys, tonight they came in here and really dictated the terms of the engagement, which is very difficult to do as the visitors. You're right. That's not usually the way things work in the NBA. It's a great win, and no question, it's going to be a happy plane ride out of here. Ranger is screen on sessions. Here's Hood. No good there. Bad news is you play like a 50-year-old rec league bump and we lost the game. I'm supposed to ask what the good news is. What's the good news? Good news is I don't think it's possible for you to play any worse. Is this supposed to be making me feel better? Nah, man. It's supposed to make you understand that it ain't, it ain't about you. We all got work to do and we're gonna do something special this year. So put this behind you. Learn from it and move on. All right.
Yeah, all right. But a 50-year-old bum, though, if the shoe fits, come on, man.